Telegraph. Russian warns it will shoot down Alliance jets over Syria if the United States launches airstrikes against Assad. In Moscow's starkest warning yet against Western intervention in the war, Russians' chief military spokesman said that any airstrikes on government-held territory in Syria would be considered a clear threat to Russian servicemen. The United States planners should carefully consider the possible consequences of such an action. Major General Igor Konoshkovov, oh, I'm sorry, said in a statement on Thursday. Today, the Syrian army has effective S-200 Buck and other air defense systems, which have undergone technical renovation in the past years, he said. I remind U.S. strategists that air cover for Russian military bases in Tartarus and Yemeni includes S-400 and S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems, the range of which may come as a surprise to any unidentified flying objects, he said. Russian air defense troops would not have time to identify the flight path of incoming rockets or aircraft that fired them, and would therefore respond immediately, Major General Kuznetsov added. This is problematic. This is problematic. Russia announced the deployment of S-330VM, an advanced anti-aircraft missile that can also intercept cruise missiles, to Syria on Tuesday. Thursday's warning came as Russian foreign ministers appealed to accuse the United States of involvement in a mortar attack on its Damascus embassy. No one was hurt in the attack on Monday, which saw several rounds landed in the compound of the Russian embassy. The ministry said it believed the shells had been fired from rebel-held neighborhood. We see links between the terror attacks and the threat Washington issued against us earlier, said Maria Zor Sakharov. Sohorova spokeswoman for Russian Foreign Ministry. She was referring to comments by John Kirby, a U.S. State Department spokesman who said last week that Russia had an interest in stopping the violence in Syria because extremists could exploit the vacuum there and launch attacks against Russian interests, perhaps even Russian cities. Here's the thing. The United States under Obama was supporting terrorists in the region. Part of the reason why they say they think the United States was involved in that particular attack probably related to the fact that we were giving material support to terrorists to help undermine the Syrian government. This is problematic. Tell me you see this as problematic. Russia is literally making threats, saying that if you come into our territory, we're going to shoot your plane down. Now explain to me. They were already complaining that the United States did something that attacked one of their embassies. If we attack anything that belongs to Assad, they will shoot it down. That is a war. That is a nuclear war. Understand what I'm saying? You need to understand the gravity of the situation to which you're getting yourself in. There is a such thing as political momentum, whether you believe it or not. Back in World War II, not after World War II, it was actually in the Kennedy. Kennedy and Khrushchev, Cuban Missile Crisis. Kennedy, for the most part, had unleashed the hounds on Cuba. In response, Castro was looking for a way to secure Cuba against the United States threats. Part of the way of doing it was making agreements with Russia, Khrushchev. Kennedy, for the most part, provocated what almost ended up being a nuclear war. They were willing to let the eastern seaboard go with the idea that they can take out all of Russia. They were willing to have that nuclear war thinking that they would get the better of it, even though millions of Americans would be killed. These are the ways that these guys think about this stuff. You need to be very clear who you're supporting and why, and what those people are trying to accomplish. And to be honest, regardless of their intentions, if Russia is issuing a warning saying, we will shoot you down, you need to be attention, pay attention to what you're doing. If you kill any of our guys, this is a war. Support Trump all you want. If you think it's perfectly okay to end up in a war with multi-nations, multi who is going to be with the United States when they start this war? Because understand, once again, it will be us starting it. Iraq, Libya. And now we're in a situation where one administration, a clown of administration, has made the decision to attack another country based upon a gas attack. He didn't wait to see who the gas attack was coming from. 
Mind you, in all honesty, it doesn't matter who the gas attack came from. And even if it, if it did matter, it doesn't make sense for them to do that at all. Syrian government is everything that they want in that particular war. Everything they want. What would be the motivation to launch a chemical attack? What are they getting out of this? It makes no sense at all. They're already winning. They have Russia backing them. The United States, for the most part, was willing to help them in finishing off ISIS. And for some reason, they say, you know what? This isn't going fast enough. Let's launch a chemical attack. That makes no sense. You would think that the reality show host would say, well, wait a minute. Let me make sure that this is actual attack. Let me make sure this actually took place. And you would also think there would be some presence of mind to say, well, man, I've killed hundreds of people already. The 70 people that died in this particular strike maybe doesn't warrant a nuclear fucking war. Keep an eye on your government. Keep an eye on your government. This is bad. Be safe, or at least try to.